This tutorial will describe a technique for creating refractive caustics and volume caustics in Maya 2018. Both of these effects depend on light transmitted through a transparent curved surface. The animation on the left shows refractive caustics and the animation on the right shows volume caustics. Both of these effects can be created uh, using the mental ray in Maya. Unfortunately, the default Arnold renderer is not able to produce uh, transmittive caustics uh, because it does not handle um, photon mapping. So this uh, tutorial will demonstrate a technique for producing these effects using uh, mental ray. In Maya 2018, mental ray must be downloaded uh, from the uh, NVIDIA site uh, in order to be used in Maya 2018. This shows the principal geometry that will be used. This 10 unit by 10 unit plane with 100 subdivisions on each side will be used as a refractive surface. It has been deformed with Maya's uh, texture deformer using the ocean map. A blend material has been assigned and the uh, uh, material is transparent and uh, under ray trace options uh, refractions have been checked on and the refractive index is set to 1.35. The other major uh, component uh, is this uh, large plane at the rear or uh, the background and it's important in producing volume caustics and we'll talk more about it uh, later. It has been assigned a um, Lambert uh, material. Okay, the directional light points down to the water surface and in the attribute editor under mental, in the mental ray section, check on emit photons. For photon color, we want to change that from a value of 1 to a value of 0.1 and we want to change the uh, photon intensity from a value of 8000 to a value of 50. Okay, now render settings. First of all, you need to change from Arnold render to the mental ray. Okay, next uh, click quality, the quality tab and check uh, show advanced settings. Scroll down to the bottom of the quality tab and open the uh, legacy options. Scroll down the legacy options until you get to caustics, open caustics, and check caustics on. Okay, next go to the configuration tab and what you want to do is to find this auto volume which is the default is uh, unchecked check that on. That is uh, important in producing volume caustics and if you do not uh, check this auto volume uh, it will be impossible to demonstrate volume caustics. And that completes uh, render the rendering uh, settings setup. Okay before testing out a render Let's go uh, sec select the direct light and change the number of caustic photons uh, during a render. So let's go in from 10,000 
S eighth of one million, and that should give us a decent render. Okay, if we render now, we should get uh, some caustic effects. So let's uh, do a render, and it shouldn't take too long. And there you can see we're getting uh, rather clear uh, refractive caustics here on this bottom uh, plane and also some reflective caustics uh, on this vertical plane here. But we're getting no volume caustics uh, whatsoever. So in order to get volume caustics, we're going to have to do two things. We're going to have to add a party volume shader to that background plane that we mentioned earlier. And we're going to have to add a party volume photon shader to this refractive surface. So that'll be our next uh, job. Okay, first let's uh, deal with this background object. We want to put a party volume uh, shader in the uh, Lambert 2 uh, material. And uh, so we need to get the shading group. And one way to do that is we can go to the hypershade and select, uh, select graph material on selected object. And that will reveal this uh, shading group. So with the shading group selected, we go to the attribute editor. In the attribute editor, select the uh, Lambert shading group uh, tab. Open the mental ray section. And under the mental ray section, open the uh, custom shaders. And you will see this uh, volume shader slot and what we want to do is to put a party volume shader uh, in, in this slot so click the map button and if you type party P-A-R-T-I that will bring up uh, uh, the party volume shader so select the party volume shader that will take you to the attribute editor for the party volume shader. And we want to make one little change here for the scatter. We want to uh, change the scatter to point zero zero six, so it's point zero zero one, so point zero zero six. For this uh, refracting surface, which is has been assigned a blend material, we want to uh, assign a party volume photon shader to that material. So we'll go through a similar procedure that we just went through for the background. So select the blend uh, shading group material go to the attribute ed editor and select the blend shading group tab and look under the mental ray section and also under the custom shader section and uh, what we're looking for is this uh, photon volume shader photon volume shader and what we want to do is to put a party volume photon uh, shader in that slot. So uh, party volume photon, which I believe is this one. That will take us to the attribute editor for that party volume photon shader. And there are a couple of changes we want to make. In the scatter 
Well, let's click on it. Click on it. Swatch and change the value from 0 0.001 to 0 0 0.05. So 0 0.05, and uh, change the extinction from 0 0.001 to 0 0.04. Okay, so if we render now, we should uh, be able to see volume caustics. So I'm going to hit the render button and pause the video. So here you can see that we are now getting uh, some uh, volume uh, uh, within the area or volume beneath the uh, refracting surface. So this is the volume caustics. And if we compare uh, this with the, with the rendering without the party volume shaders, you can see the uh, difference. So here the rendering without party volume shaders and rendering here with party volume shaders and you get this uh, volume caustics. Unfortunately, I don't have a uh, license for the mental ray renderer, so I'm only able to render single frames in Maya 2018, uh, uh, although the animations are much more dramatic uh, if, you have, if you can produce them with the license. Um, there are many variations in this effect that you can produce in the volume caustics such as varying the parameters of the party volume photon shader, the party volume shader, uh, the properties of the uh, refracting surface, and so forth. So I uh, hope this has been of some use to some of you, and thank you very much for watching.